Good morning, good morning. How y'all doing out there today? Hope all y'all is well. Today we're going to go over and um, do the running, man. We're going to talk about um, the gathering um, of God's people in these last days by his word. And, um, you know, the Most High is planning to uplift these curses that was put on us. And actually, he's going to uplift the curses on us <clears throat> and um, restore us, you know, from all the, um, the all the things that, you know, we've been through since we've been in this land. Um, as far as just other people just hating on us for actually no apparent reason for us just being the color that we are from light brown to dark brown. Um, which I don't understand how people get can get black out of brown, but anyway, that's just um how our eyes has been closed and not even realize that you know we will be actually calling ourselves something that we're not, you know, and not even really checking like, man, I'm I'm really not black, I'm brown, you know, so. It's a good thing to be in this Bible, in, in, in this Bible, learning this, um, learning these scriptures and word. And um, I just want to thank my brothers who, from um, Great Millstone, um, who I've been watching for a while. You know, and the brothers, is, you know, just I pray for them, brothers. You know, um, and uh, for protection. You know what I mean? Because you know they bring in that truth and actually bringing the name of the of our father that's in heaven um but anyway i just wanted to say that you know and um just talk about the most high is going to gather his people in these last days wherever he scattered them to um and through his word his people will be gathered so let's just read chapter Deut deuteronomy chapter 30 right quick and it says um and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I have set before thee, um, which I have set before thee, thou shalt call them to mind. So the Lord, the Most High is saying, the curses and the blessings he set before us, we shall rem remember those things. Um... He say, call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God had driven thee. So the Lord had scattered us throughout all parts of the earth. Um, wherever there has a nation, um, our people, so-called black people, are there in all parts of the world. Whether they speak another language as the locals, you know, or even look like um, some of the some of the people that um, been in that land. So you know, you have to you gather gather. Your, God is gathering His people by His Word through His Spirit, because some of us, you know, we look like the other nations where we've been scattered to. You know, some of us look like Chinese people. Some of us look like white people. Some of us look like Arabs, some of us look like, you know, Chinese, Philippines, you know, like we're all over the place, you know. So in these last days, the Most High is going to gather his people by his word that these, um, his elect men is teaching. And it says, I will call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God has driven thee and shall return unto the Lord thy God. So, so the, wherever you've been scattered or whatever country you're in, um, the God, God is going to gather you and shall return unto the Lord thy God and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. So the most I command us this day, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but this day. Um, <clears throat> to obey his voice, you know, and that's 
pretty much how our forefathers got into the situation by being scattered from them and taken and the kingdoms being split by us not obeying the voice of the Most High. Um, you know, the, the kingdoms were split from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. You know, the tribes were split and um, were scattered. It said, um, I command thee this day that thou and thy children with all thy heart, with all thy soul. So we're supposed to be teaching our children how to serve the Most High. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto uttermost parts of heaven, from this will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from this will be, and from this will he fetch thee. So no matter where you at, the Most High is coming for you, and he know where all his people is. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. So what land did our fathers possess? Um, that was the land of um the land of Israel. And thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart. So after the Lord gather us. He's going to circumcise our minds and give us a clean mind and take out these stony hearts, these, this, this stony mind, you know, the evil, the evil mind. He's going to take all that out of, out of our hearts. And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. So, so when the, after the God, the Most High, gathered his people, all these curses that was on his people, that he's going to put it upon our enemies. And he said the same people that hate you, they're going to get it. So no one gets away with... Um, disrespecting the most high kids or the most high children. No one gets away with that. You may think you get you get away with that, but you're gonna get jacked up in your life somewhere for messing around with the kids with the, for the children of Israel. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all these commandments which I command thee, which I commanded thee this day. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thy hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land, for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments, and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law. And if thou turn into the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So the Most High is going to bless us in these um, last days as he gather his people back. You know, that's why the word must go out. The word must be taught and the word cannot go void, you know. A lot of people is going to be uncomfortable. Some people is going to be comfortable by the word, but a lot of people is going to be uncomfortable by the word because it's the spirit that's gathering the people. And that's how um, you know who's of the most highest people. So I just want to share that with you guys this morning. Um, I'll be back with the next one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So you can get all the notifications. 
and I'll be back with the next one. Peace.